Hello again, this is Robert Murdoch at the Go Engineer Technical Support Department with another quick tips video uh, for SolidWorks. Today we're going to talk about an error that is pretty common uh, for users with network licenses. Uh, sometimes you'll turn on your SolidWorks and it will give you an error that'll say could not obtain a license for SolidWorks standard. Mm. Kind of looks like that. Or could not get information from the server we got lots of them, but uh, frequently they're all related. So this is usually the first thing that we want to check uh, so that we can, I guess there's a couple things that we're going to check here just so we can make sure that everything's functioning properly. If you're still having problems, then go ahead and call us and, and we'll make sure that we, wor that we work this out. But there's quite a few things that, that are uh, pretty simple, so let's go through this. Um, any computer that's installed with SolidWorks will automatically have a uh, kind of a client-side copy of the Solid Network License Manager. You find that by going to All Programs, scrolling down to the version of SolidWorks you want. You always want to do this on the newest version that you've, that you've got. So we're going to SolidWorks 2012, SolidWorks Tools, and then in here we've got the Solid Network License Manager. I'll run that. So give me that error I just showed you before could not get information from the server. <clears throat> now the reason why I can't is because I'm not connected to a server. So we're not going to be able to fix my problem. I don't run on a network license, but I'll still show you how to fix it. So here, you've got a server list. Frequently, problem is with, with a lot of users, either they don't have a server listed here, or they have the server name typed in correctly. Um, Easy way to fix this, come in here, remove it, say yes, add it back in. The default port number, 25734, unless you've changed it, but most people don't. At tech server. There we go. And it's still going to complain at me because there is no such server. Now, a lot of users will change this and then they'll launch their SolidWorks and it'll still say could not obtain a license and the reason is because when they reopen that program they'll open and this is a, this is part of the diagnosis they'll click on here and they'll reopen it and sorry let's take a sec and it'll give them the error again and they'll go to their server list and it'll say the same thing that it did before and the, there's a few things we can do to fix that to make that not happen First thing you want to do is go to the control panel. Oh, mine popped up on the wrong screen. Here it is. Control panel. And then we're going to go to user accounts. I'm sorry. System and security. And then change user account control settings. Some people can't do this because of their company's security. And, uh, and you don't have authority to do this. You might have to have your IT department do it for you. Most computers come with it all the way up here. In Windows Vista and Windows 7, you've got that wonderful little reminder every time you start a program. Do you want to make sure that, you know, are you sure you want this program to run? Are you sure you want to give it permission to do that, even though you're the one who clicked on it? Uh, well, you can turn that off. That's what we're doing here. So we're going to take this and you're going to drop it down to never notify. This also allows um, more programs to make changes on your computer. Um, they're not major things, uh, but it allows SolidWorks to write to the registry in this particular instance, because that's where it keeps the server name. So we're going to pull that all the way down. You'll click OK. You can put your control panel away. We'll reopen the license manager. And either it will say it'll still give you this error right so we'll go to the server list you'll remove it again you'll add it back in the way it's supposed to be you'll close it and then reopen it again and if at this point it's still giving you the error which again mine does because there is no such thing as tech server I just made it up for this video but if it's still giving you that error then what you're having is connectivity problems with your server or your license manager isn't turned on. If you have access to your network license manager, which looks like this, 
you can go to the server administration tab and make sure that you've started your server. Mine is grayed out, so I can't click on it. But make sure your server is running. Um, if it's still giving you trouble at that point, it's uh, going to be a network issue. Uh, you can certainly call us, and we'll help you troubleshoot it so you can discover where that problem is. Um, but uh, at that point, you've got to get got to get permissions edited. Got to work with whoever your uh, your internet security provider is, and maybe your IT department to get that cleared up. <clears throat> okay, now for some users, they're going to change their user account control settings, and they're going to change their their server name again, and it's still not going to stick. Uh, it'll still keep reverting back to the old the old incorrect server name and uh, that's going to be a permissions related issue but there is one way that we can try to force this as a disclaimer I will say that only advanced users should do this uh, if you don't know if you're not familiar with the registry you haven't done this sort of thing before then you really ought to get your IT involved or somebody who's more experienced with Windows to follow these next instructions you can open the registry editor by clicking on start and typing here in this window REGED IT reg edit for Windows XP you'll have to click on run first and then type this in hit enter and that pulls up your registry editor I'm going to collapse up all these folders here really quick so to make the change for the server name you're going to open up a couple places one is hkey local machine software and then Flex LM License Manager, this one right here. Now in here is this file here, SWD License File. And you can see in the data field, it's got our, our server name and port number, just like we were trying to edit in the Solid Network License Manager. You can edit it here. Right click on it and select Modify. Change the value here to what you need it to be. And click OK. Once that information is saved, collapse that. We're going to scroll down. If you have a 64-bit computer, you'll have this right here, WOW 6432 node. You'll expand that. And then we're going to find Flex LM License Manager, just like before, SWD License File. Right-click, Modify, change it to what it needs to be. Click OK. Remember that server names are case-sensitive. So if your server name is supposed to be in all lowercase, make sure it's all lowercase. Um, otherwise, it won't connect. And that's how you change it manually in the registry. Uh, again, if, uh, if you're not familiar with the registry, please don't do this. Have somebody else do it for you. Um, registry is where your computer keeps a lot of very critical information, and you could do damage to your computer by, uh, by deleting things or renaming things that shouldn't be renamed. So this should be as a last effort. Uh, finally, if that fails, then you've got a lot of permissions things that need to be worked out through IT uh, or through a Windows expert who can uh, uh, get on as administrator and fix these things. But for most people, these, these solutions are, uh, are going to be sufficient. Very few people are going to have problems with that. Uh, that's how you get rid of that error. It says, could not obtain a license. Just point at the server. And, uh, and then make sure that that value sticks. That way when you launch your SolidWorks, it's just going to come up, and it's not going to complain at you. This has been Robert Murdoch with Go Engineer, and the Tech Support Department for a Quick Tips video. Have a great day.